with the clouds will stay nice and insulated in our overnight hours. So temperatures holding steady in the 50s, and that's just going to allow us to climb all that much as we head throughout the day. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog out there early on tomorrow morning. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry, that fog will burn off fairly quickly tonight. Some spotty sprinkles out toward the Cape and Islands lingering into tomorrow morning, waking up tomorrow morning, especially throughout the eastern half of the state. Overcast conditions along with that patchy fog. That fog does burn off. Those clouds finally start to pull away and then we get into some sunshine for your Monday afternoon. It's going to be a pleasant day for your Monday as temperatures soar into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Along the immediate coast, we're looking at the upper 60s. Farther inland, we're looking at the lower 70s. And then by Tuesday, maybe a few afternoon storms mainly northwest of Boston. So temperatures, the farther west you happen to be, will be on the warmer side, starting off with clouds. But once again, we do get into th that sunshine by the time we get to our afternoon hours. And we hold steady with that sunshine through our Tuesday and even Wednesday, all thanks to this high just off to our south. That's what's going to pump in that warmer air for the next few days. And it's really going to be a bit on the warm side by the time we get to Wednesday. Then take a look at the system just off to our west. That's what's going to give us our chance for a few storms by the time we get to Thursday afternoon, and that's going to cool us down just a bit as you head into your Friday. So warmer conditions are going to be here to stay as that ridge builds in. Once again, your Wednesday is going to be the warmest day out of the next several. So tomorrow, a seasonably warm day, upper 60s, lower 70s. For your Tuesday, a very warm day. We're looking at the lower 80s, especially farther inland. Then by the time we get to Wednesday, several locations will be climbing either close to 90 degrees or just over that 90 degree mark. It's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a breezy day. Good news is humidity will not be all that high. Then by the time we get to Thursday, maybe a few storms out there and then cooling things down just a bit as you head into Friday.